Hi Corvids, I am Corvus Rusherogenicus and this is Corvus Playthings. So welcome to what seems to be the first original content for this channel. And to start this channel, first of all, let me remind you that English isn't my native tongue, which means that I'm gonna commit lots of mistakes and say things that makes no sense and mispronounce things. Bear with me. <laughs> this is a way that I can also improve my English. This is one of the reasons that I started this channel uh, in the first place, so be patient. Okay, to start the real content of this channel, I want to review a TV series that my mom and I finished recently and it has touched our hearts so deeply and kindly that I wanted to start reviewing that the series that I want to talk today and address and basically recommend you all if you haven't watched yet is Jane the Virgin. Jane the Virgin is a drama comedy or comedy drama, I don't know how it's said in English and it has this format of American comedy but it is based on a Venezuela, Venezuelan uh, telenovela and all of its symbology and references are straight out of a telenovela basically. So Jane the Virgin is about uh, Jane Gloriana Villanueva who is a Latina girl living with her mom Xiomara and with her grandmother uh, Alba who, by the way, is played by the amazing actress Yvonne Cole. And she's a regular girl. She's a Latina girl b b born in the United States. She is studying. She works to pay for her studies. And she's, she has a boyfriend who is a cop. Everything is normal in her life, save for one detail. She is saving herself until marriage. I mean, it's an option, but this comes from her grandmother, who is very traditional. Her mother, on the other hand, is not so traditional, it's a little bit liberal about sex. One day, Jane goes to a gyne gynecological, and I probably butchered that word, check, you know, a routine check, and her gynecologist is not in her best day and she mixes the patients and the wife of her brother wants to surprise his brother by using the last sample of semen of her brother to get inseminated. But she mixes the patients and she accidentally, by mistake, inseminates Jane instead. To add more to this, her brother is Jane's boss and it was also Jane's first kiss ever. Like straight out of a telenovela, isn't it? So because of her strong religious convictions and also because Rafael, her boss, cannot have more children due to medical issues, she struggles a lot to abort. She doesn't feel right getting an abortion. Since that moment on, spiral down into a big mayhem of dramas and comedies and love triangles and um, criminal plots and it's all crazy. Crazy and juicy and fantastic. Okay, what I love about this show is that it's dramatic, it's really dramatic and it's also very funny and comedic and it has helped me purge out all the negative emotions that I needed to purge from me and it has helped me to also feel the comfort of laughing and have like quality time with my mom too. The format of the series is basically that of an American comedy with lots of drama and where magic realism is crucial because they have like this 
daydreaming moments that are really charged with symbology and creating its own mythology. It's like when Ali McBeal used to daydream, but it's even more brutal. And it is filled with bright colors that are really histrionic. It's like going into a Dali's painting or something. It's really surreal, but everything has their symbols, the, uh, you, you know, there's their symbology and everything is representative of something. So in the end, it creates like this second reality that you really want to dive into and you're always expecting to happen. And it's wonderful. It's, it's, it's like a different reality that you love and has meaning and it's always surrounding Jane. The characters are all great, all great. Your feelings towards them may change in time, but they are all extremely lovable or extremely hateable, which is the intention when they were written. Even in the love triangle of Jane with uh, Raphael and Michael. So <coughs> it's so hard to pick a side. It's so hard to choose a team. I have been team Michael and team Raphael thousands of times and I have always always switched the teams and yeah. Also there's a character that is the narrator of each episode. The narrator is always the same. You can't see his face and he's fucking best. He's the best, guys. He's the best character. He's funny. He's crazy. He's on point. Um, he makes you travel from point to point of the storylines that you didn't remember or that you don't think they are important, but in the end they are important and it always makes sense. Even if he digresses a lot uh, while, while storytelling, He's so fucking funny that I think he's the best character in the series, for real. Also, they reveal uh, his identity in the end, and that was... Seriously, I, I, I almost cried when I knew. And since diversity is important, it's worth saying that the cast is, is mainly a Latino-based cast. Which is good. I mean, there are characters of all kinds, like life itself, but the storylines doesn't always have to revolve around white people in America. It can be in other countries, and it can be other ethnicities, and it can be other religious people or non-religious people or whatever. So that's important. Uh, anyway, it's like really diverse, uh, many people can feel I identify one way or another with the characters because they really, really diverse, and it doesn't seem it doesn't seem forced. It's not like this type of diversity that usually people who don't support diversity try to portray. That is like really forced on screen. By the way, uh, I don't know if you know, but I'm a professional sign language interpreter and that's the reason that I'm moving my hands so much and around and going from one side to the other side with my hands because in sign language this space has grammatical meaning and I am in deep state of professional deformation which is a Spanish uh, saying. Something that I also love is that the characters aren't necessarily perfect and strong and independent, they get to an independent state, they improve, they evolve. Uh, when you think they have reached like the peak of their careers or their lives or their storylines, they many times like step back and choose a different way because they don't feel fulfilled and I resonate so much with that. It's precisely in the moment of my life that I'm in right now. So. That's amazing too. They, they, they break, they crumble, they cry, they need to vent, they need to take different paths because they 
commit mistakes. Uh, yeah, they are very human characters despite how surreal the, the storylines and everything are. Actually, the porch is the crime porch. If you see the characters, if you see the Villanueva woman there, it means they're gonna cry. <laughs> so the porch is like any other character, is it has its own it has its own entity. The stories are like very difficult to believe. The the, the drama, the, the you know, it's too much drama, too much action, too much mystery, but too many criminal plots, but that's also the enchant of the series, that it has like this touch of a Latin American telenovela, but making it into a comedy with magic realism, that cringe that you get from telenovelas goes away and it turns into something wonderful that makes you laugh or that makes you fall in love with characters or basically something great and original and really, really creative. It also touches on human issues such as immigration. It gives a face to illegal immigration and why it may happen. I 100% recommend this show to you guys. And I really feel that if people gave it a real chance, even if they're not 100% into it from episode one, it would touch so many hearts. It would reach so many people. It would do so good to people. Check it out if you haven't already. And to me, this series is a 10 out of 10. And that's it, guys. Please tell me what you think in the comments down below. Like if you liked the video or the series. Don't dislike if not, that's unnecessary. And that would make you a really nasty person. Please subscribe for more reviews of TV shows, movies, and all the juicy stuff. Share this video in your social media you think it can be of interest to your people follow me my social media will be in the description box down below thanks for watching covid bye